clotting is a normal function that stops your body from bleeding too much when you get hurt. However, blood clots that form in some places and doesn't dissolve on their own can be fatal and may lead to death as witnessed. Some of the government dignitaries and prominent people that have died of blood clots include the former Prime Minister Professor Apollon Sivambi succumbed a pulmonary embolism, which is a clot in the lungs, and died in 2019. Retired Major General Kosidi Gwanga died at 68 years of age. Gwanga underwent a successful operation two weeks ago after a doctor discovered a blood clot in one of the vessels in his head. And one other person who eventually died of a blood clot was Major General Julius Oketa, who had earlier complained of chest pain, and the former Archbishop of Kampala Diocese, Dr. Cyprian Chizitoluanga, who was found dead in his room. The most recent death attributed to a blood clot is that of the Deputy Inspector General of Police, Major General Paul Lokech. During the autopsy, it was revealed that the pathologists opened the right lower leg, which was injured, and found a very big blood clot that had formed in one of the big blood vessels. So, what is a blood clot? Dr. Ian Clark of Clark International University and the International Spirit of Kampala explains. Maybe, you know, they've got high blood pressure, their veins become rough, uh, you know, the blood starts to build, it builds up plaque and roughness in the blood and then it clots in the heart vessels or the brain vessels, okay, and then uh, they get a stroke or they get a heart attack. According to Dr. Ian Clark, the blood clot can be caused by several risk factors which often cause a vein clot. This include travelling a lot by air. It is known that you can get blood clots in the leg from being in a plane, so consequently some people will take aspirin. Aspirin thins the blood a little bit. Uh, another risk factor for, for blood clots is uh, uh, pregnancy, for example, someone who's pregnant. Doctor says about half of people who develop clots do not show symptoms but tells you what one can look out for. Certain conditions that would be a little bit of a risk for a blood clot. Now that, by the blood, blood clot, I'm talking usually about a deep venous thrombosis. That's the term DVT. So it's a blood clot in the vein, usually, but not always, in the leg. And um, so someone may get a pain in the leg. The doctor also recommends a regular checkup. For the normal person, I think it's if they, if they have a pain in the leg, okay, uh, and that has come on, and especially in the calf, and it seems a bit tender, and it's not just, say, from, you know, somebody started running and they're getting muscle pains, it's, you know, then they can go and have that checked. Report compiled by Shamim Natewa for CTV, PM Edition.